Welcome back. I hope you are doing well. Today I have got you a quick update as well. Uncover may be signed today. So I will make a video as soon as Uncover is signed. Now let's go into our video. Today I have got 20 more jailbreak tweaks for all of you guys. For the first one, it's gonna give you a bound animation when you open or exit the app. For example, I can go to the App Store and you can see the bound animation. And when I exit the App Store, you're gonna see the bound animation. Circle settings allow you to have circle icon inside settings apps. And as you can see from the left side here. Move on to the next one. This is the trick for App Store. So if I go to the App Store, you can see from the tab at the bottom. And instead of arcade button, we have update now. So you can click to go to update. So where you can access to update much um, faster. Stay low CC will push all of the button into the bottom. So when you invoke control center, you can see all of the button here has been pushed to the bottom. So you can reach with one hand. You don't need to um, go to the top, so you just um, use one hand and you can access to all of those buttons. Bury it is basically allow you to open any apps directly from your iPhone lock screen. So it is a quick way to open your favorite app. Now you can see at the bottom here, I have Facebook, App Store, Amazon and Settings. So if I want to go to the App Store, I just swipe down. And now it will launch App Store straight away. And if you have Face ID or Touch ID available on your device, it's gonna ask for the Face ID and passcode first before you can launch all of those apps. So it is much more secure. And now let me show you again from my Face ID. Now it is locked. If I go to Facebook, I can swipe down and it will confirm with my code, my passcode, or I can confirm with my Face ID. And you can see as soon as it is confirmed it will launch the app straight away and you can go to settings where you can select the app here so we have um, app 1 until app 4 and you can select from here accent allow you to change color on many different elements on system wide on your iphone and as you can see on setting here so the, la the label is in pink and then let me select the different one let's go to yellow and I can go back and you can see it has been changed to yellow. And if I go into the app, let's say I go to the app store. And you can see when the tape is selected, it is in yellow. And on camera, when I go to camera here, you can see here the label is in yellow. And now let me change to the other color. Let's select. So let's select on blue. So now let me respring. Now when I go back to camera. And you can see the label here, it is in blue and also the focus as well. And the light uh, photo here. Usually with stock iOS version, when you want to delete a photo, you're gonna delete two times. So first time you're gonna delete from the photo itself. And then it will go to reason delete. But after you install it tweak, it's gonna permanently delete the photo. So you can have the new option. So when you go to photo and when I click on delete, it's gonna ask me whether I want to permanently delete my photo, which is it is completely removed from the photo app. It doesn't go into recently delete. Side Finder, basically it allows you to see the size of the application. You can see directly from your iPhone home screen. You don't need to go to setting and go to iPhone storage. You can basically see from the home screen. Now when I go to edit mode where I can force touch and hold, and now you can see we are standing in edit mode and where you can see the label on top here which um, show the size of each application and you can take a closer look and on messenger I have 32 megabyte Houdini and don't mind me if I pronounce it incorrectly so for the tweaks it is basically allow you to hide the clock from the lock screen with the tape now when I go to my lock screen and you can see there is no clock on the top and when I double tap on the screen it's gonna bring back the clock right here and the date so if you want to see the wallpaper for example you want to see in uh, full screen you can just um, hide the clock here and then you have more space to see the wallpaper 
go to pancake so for the tweaks it gonna allow you to go to the previous page by file here just in the middle of the screen usually with stock ios version you need to swipe all the way to the edge in order to go back to previous page but after you install pancake you just swipe anywhere on the screen to go back to the previous page and the good thing about the tweak it does support within third party app as well for example if i go to facebook and let's say i go to the post like this where i can just swipe back so without going to the edge of the screen it is pretty simple if you want to delete the text much quicker you can install the tweak so usually when you click on delete button it just gonna delete only one letter but now you can hold on shift and you can see the delete button here turn to red where i can just click it one more time and all of the text will be deleted as you can see here the ball cut let you insert email much faster so you can go to settings and go to the ball cut right here where i can just add my email and after i add it and now when i go to let's say i want to insert my email so i just go to um, the number here where i can uh, double tap on add button and then it gonna add my email straight away i swipe for more it was built to enhance idea usability if you don't want to confuse you can disable use icon and then you can go to side here and once you are inside here you can swipe here swipe to the left then it gonna show you the label here where you can remove reinstall or remove if you have the iPhone 8 or newer, you can install large key. It allows you to customize the Face ID icon where you can select many different themes. So I'm gonna go to Appearance right here where I can select different Face ID icon. Let's say I go to Check Rent here and then I can select Position. So I'm gonna go to, let's say, go to Default. And then I can just finally respring my device. Now you can see here, we have the Face ID, now we turn to check RAN icon and now as soon as my phone is unlocked, you're gonna see the animation and you can see right here, now we can unlock So for those of you that usually change the wallpaper, you can install the tweak So the tweak is pretty simple, it's gonna change the wallpaper every day for you it's gonna update the wallpaper every single day and then you can go to wallpaper location where you can change um, either lock screen or home screen or you can select both and then we have um, set image source you can select the image from different source here so you can go to NASA, SpaceX and so on and then you can um, set the time to disable it and it is as simple as that car switcher Basically, it allows you to have the iPad grid switcher. So now when I go to my multitasking and we have the grid switcher here just like the iPad. And then we have, um, you're gonna see clear apps at the bottom where you can clear all apps at one. But when I click on it, it doesn't work. So maybe we can see in the new update. CC balance where you can balance the audio inside control center. So when you swipe down control center and, and go to volume and where you can force touch and then we have the bar here. So if you swipe the dot all the way to the left, it's gonna play the music and you can hear mostly on the left side or you can swipe to the right, mostly you're gonna hear on the right side. And if you want the sound in the middle, you can select here. Frame allow you to use the video as the wallpaper either for the lock screen or for your home screen. So if you go to settings and with the new version of frame, it is pretty awesome. When you choose the wallpaper here where you can view the lock screen or home screen. Or if you want the new video, you can click on more here. And then it's gonna bring you to Safari. And you can download many different uh, video right here. So if you have the iPad, select this one. But for me, I'm gonna select the iPhone. And then you can go to different category right here. So let's say I go to WWDC and then we have um, two different video. Let's say I want to download this one and I can click on download right here. Now click on download again. It's gonna save to file apps. Now my video is finally downloaded and I can go back to my home screen. Now launch settings again. Now click on choose video and go to files. 
we gonna select um, the video from file apps that we have just downloaded. Here is the one that I have just downloaded, and it will ask you to select either lock screen or home screen. So I'm gonna go both. And here we go. So we get a new um, video right here, and now on my home screen, you can see we have a new video. And even on my lock screen as well, it is pretty awesome. Pace and go allow me to search directly just using 3D Touch on Safari app. Now, first of all, you need to copy first. So I'm gonna copy this one. And now I can force touch on Safari. And on the top menu, you can see Pace and search where I can paste and search directly. So I'm gonna click on it. And you can see it is searching straight away 